On the road with Eddie Edwards in Rochester. At Benedict's Grill, the first congressional district candidate gets credit from Gene Grover for taking a stand during the Republican primary, refusing to sign a pledge to support Andy Sanborn if he won for reasons of character. When you refuse to debate Andy Sanborn on principle, I think you won many people's hearts that day. Grover and others enjoying lunch here want Edwards, if he gets elected, to focus on helping veterans. We definitely need something for the ones coming home with PTSD. We need some kind of facility that can help them. Well, well you have my commitment. You have my, my commitment. I am going to work for our veterans because they worked and they protected us. I think the uh, veterans should be able to go to a normal hospital if the VA hospital is not capable or is too far away. You know? uh, yeah, a, a lot of people believe that. I don't understand why they can't. I just, well, well, you know. Th th this, this is more of uh, government control. Yeah. Right? Th this, this, we need to get back to a place where our veterans uh, can go to their local hospital, be served, be treated. Gregory Maliski is worried Congress will begin to undermine gun rights. Second Amendment is very important to keep. Um, keep our Constitution safe from corruption. There's no reason that we need the federal government here in the state of New Hampshire trying to dictate uh, laws and rules to our governor and our lawmakers. Stephen Inza asked Edwards about Social Security. I was just wondering what we can do with Social Security, get some of the money back in that was borrowed from us uh, so many years ago. Well, well, you're absolutely right on Social Security. We, we have to stop uh, government from robbing Social Security, number one. But number two, we have to shore that system up. We have to make sure that uh, we keep the promises has been made. In Rochester, Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.